Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Factorio Space Age, where we are going to Aquilo today. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. I added a couple more turrets to the front, uh, these two and these two, just in case. I, I didn't really feel like I needed any more combat prowess, but, uh, you know, just in case, and maybe we just let the, let the thing go full throttle the whole time. Let's see what happens. Um, so we'll unleash the throttle. I don't think I have to change anything else. We seem to get more than enough water on the journey for what we were doing. So I added a couple more uh, cargo bays as well because we needed a lot of crap. Why is this still not done? I don't have green circuits available on the planet. That is interesting. That also was supposed to be uh, Rare speed threes, not rare speed twos. But everything else it looks like we've got, and we've got plenty of space left over, so. I've already emptied my inventory. I'm, I decided to work on rolling some nuclear reactors, so that's happening. Uh, something's wrong here, though. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna enable it. I forgot I, I was having it keep a few regulars. I don't, I don't really know why. We'll just have it recycle all of them. But uh, anyway, so this is rolling some uncommon roboports for me. I don't really know why. I guess we might as well can recharge robots faster and hold more robots. Or allow for more robots to work from your inventory. So might as well. <sighs> might as well. And then I'll just enable that. I could make the Mark IIs as well, maybe I should, but anyway, the green circuits, I can easily put into a provider chest, like that, and yeah, what else? Um, I think we're pretty ready, oh, I, I guess I didn't mention this, but we added two more rocket silos to get stuff up to up to space faster, and it's already already done with all the requests. That's a little better. And then, as far as nuke reactors, I do think I want... If I take four, then their neighbor bonus is even better. And given that we need heat, and heat is... Oh. Um, I guess we'll find out. I don't know if heat... Is heat drained constantly or only when things are running? I, I want to say heat is not drained as a function of time, but as a function of machines running. So I think... Like, if I just added a bunch of heat pipes and buildings that did nothing, once the temperature reaches equilibrium, those aren't going to drain more heat constantly out of the network, I think. Which is not how real life would work, but, you know, that's probably better this way. So I think I want four of these, actually. Um, I don't know why I'm putting them in my inventory, because... Ooh, that was a lot of green chips. So anyway, I think I want to take four, that's all I'm trying to say. And then we want to take more fuel for that. So let's do 300 fuel. And then request nuclear reactor. I assume the rocket capacity is only one, yeah. We're gonna request four uncommons. Um. Why are two not on... I guess these are ticking up. Again, I really want that orange color for when the rockets are busy, but you have it. Because it, it's indistinguishable from an error that... would actually prevent them from getting into the rocket. Like, sometimes you have something going on in your base where it says you have them, but they're not able to be delivered or something, so that... It would be nice if you knew rockets being busy was the error that was happening. Uh, anyway... I think we're basically ready to go. 
I also decided to research Robot Speed 9, and that's going swimmingly. Oh, have I put better modules in my labs? By the way, BT dubs. Uh, no, no, we totally have better. We have the epics now, so I can get even more science out of my science. And I can get even faster science out of my science by changing these to the epics. They go from a 42.2 research speed to... To what? 49.8, just by getting the better beacons. That's not even using better modules. 57, wow, that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. I didn't even improve the speed modules. That's so nuts. Yeah, I've wondered that too, Dave. Like, there's a lot of things that are close enough to one stack where it feels odd to not have it. But at the same time, I think the idea of rocket capacity is interesting because you're... What you're doing is you're then saying, we think the balance of what you send to space should be different, differently costed than the balance of what fits in an inventory stack. And that does make sense for a lot of things, right? Like, if you're trying to... You know, there are things that you want to stack to large amounts in your inventory that you don't necessarily want to be cheap to send to space. But are there enough things that you need to do that everywhere? And I think for stuff like this, they wanted to let you take more stacks. I wonder if they could have just done something simple like intermediates, you can have five stacks per rocket. Finished buildings, you can have one stack per rocket. You know, like try to be a little more consistent like that. Um, I don't know. And then, like, I still am not confidently... I have zero ideas on why these stack to 50 and these only stack to 10. There seems to be no good reason for that, especially considering the ratio is the opposite. Like, you need twice as many of these as you need of these, but these ones stack to five times more. I don't know. I don't get it. It, it does seem a little bit random sometimes. But, you know. I mean, everybody cares whether they know it or not, but does it make a big difference is maybe a bigger question. All right, let's do it. Let's go to Aquilo. I guess we're still waiting. Never mind. We still haven't gotten all of the fuel cells because it only sends 10 at a time. So that is not a very fast process to send 200. And we have three of the nuclear... Oh, wait, am I... What? Did I forget to request heat pipes? I... I apparently did. Uh, let's request 500. That's gonna take a minute, too. Okay, so we're not quite there. Um, I also apparently forgot, like, a lot of important things. <sighs> um... Okay, so I believe we have... Rare EMPs, yeah. And let's also do... We're gonna need pump jacks. Okay, sorry, there's a couple other things we need. So let's do... Um... Pump jack... And then... Ah! Didn't mean to do that. And then we'll do... By the way, the way I'm doing this, you go to copy something and then you hold shift and it lets you parameterize it, but then it's not gonna end up making a blueprint for it. So for things that you just wanna copy, parameterize, and then paste, this is the way to do it. Okay, so I do want some higher quality pump jacks and kim plants. I wish there was an easy way to... I miss additional paste settings where you could just keep clicking and it would keep adding more. Because the bots are so far away, this just isn't a big enough request for this to happen very quickly. But that's okay. The bots are faster now. Robot Speed 9 is finished. They are pretty zippy. Of 
of all the things to forget, heat pipes is in fact the worst. I mean, again, we, we've already discussed this. The ship has been proven to work fine, so it's not going to be a problem if we get there and we forgot something. It really isn't. Oh, that's importing from the wrong planet. That's why it's grayed out. Um, and then now we want to do uncommons 20. What's the rocket capacity? It's also 10. Um, definitely want some recyclers. I don't think we have rares, do we? No. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying that when you have the planet selected and then you change rarity, it changes back to the other planet. That's that's kind of a, a frustrating deal. All right, pump jacks, uncommon. Yeah, here we go. Boundaries, uncommon, novice. There's no mining to be done. I probably should take some accumulators just to have them. Um, I don't really know what I'll need them for, but you never know. Better to be prepared. All right. I believe that is pretty much all we want. I shouldn't need anything from the military tab. As far as we know. I and I've seen I've seen a few conversations pop up online about enemies and how it feels weird that two of the planets have no enemies. I think on Fulgora it's fine. I think on Aquilo I would have preferred that there is some sort of military thing. I don't know if it should be like the enemies attack you, but I think having the need to do something militarily on the planet, maybe towards the end, could have been cool. Like I really like Vulcanus and how that works. So having something in that direction for Aquilo could have been cool, but I don't know. Because again, they give you all these tools and it, and it feels weird that the only reason you use them is to destroy asteroids. I don't know. It feel it feels like there was there was like there's a missing a missing puzzle piece there. But but I don't know what the what the right answer would be. All right, so these are going to take a minute, I guess. I'm going to increase these. I wonder if I just don't have enough gears if, or pipes in the network for this. I probably don't. Um, my poor little bots. I don't even know where we're putting gears into the into the network. I think did I decide to make gears over here somewhere? I did. I did. Okay, good. I should also make pipes over here then, right? By the same logic. Ah! Oh, can't use prod. Makes sense. Yeah, Fulgora not having enemies for whatever reason feels appropriate. Maybe just because of the chaoticness of the scrap. It and the lightning's already there, so there's an there is an oppressive nature to the planet even with the lightning storms. Um, I wouldn't say it feels. I wouldn't say the lightning feels like an enemy at all because it's just. I've, I think I've already complained about it. It's actually far too easy, <laughs> I think, to deal with the lightning because you're just like randomly placing these really cheap lightning rods everywhere and it just works but that being said there is that oppressiveness of the of the lightning that's already there all right now i don't know i'm probably putting yeah these can now not be shared okay 
Not that it matters. It's probably already almost done. Um, nope. There's zero available on the planet. Still. Okay, we gotta speed this up. Wait, why do we... Oh, no. I forgot about that. Um... <laughs> Because we're using the Gambletron 3000, it's only making the epics available to the network. <laughs> so we were gambling and getting no results from that. That explains it. All right, let's speed it up by a little bit too. I have to go into remote view, remote view to do it this way. Can I store the power from the lightning? Yeah, yeah. I mean, not to take to other planets or anything, but that's that's what the lightning rods do. Lightning rods are basically weird accumulators that immediately discharge all of the power from the lightning in like half a second or something. And if you don't have enough accumulators to receive that charge, then you lose it. But that's how you, that's how you get power on Fulgora, unless you go the melting ice and burning rocket fuel route, which also or solid fuel which also works. And there's also infinite heavy oil, which you can easily crack into other types of fuel, so. Power on Fulgora is only slightly harder than power on Vulcanus. Because you do need a lot of accumulators. Like, when we look at our Fulgora base, it's not it's not a small amount of accumulators that you need to, to power your base. And we have a pretty big uh, island here. But basically, the maximum rate that you have in terms of power usage is dependent on how much surface area you've covered of the planet. I do like that as a mechanic, and, and I like that if you want to get more power out of your surface area, you have to then upgrade the lightning rods. So I, I actually really like the lightning as power element. I don't think lightning as a threat is really that strong of an element on Fulgora, because it's just so easy. It's like a joke. Like, well, okay, we have lightning rods, done. And they're, you know, they're even really forgiving on, like, the coverage. So, as far as, like, the challenge of lightning, I think it's basically zero, but I, I really like the power from lightning. So that is really cool. But yeah, how would, how would enemies work? If we were to posit the idea of enemies, I'm just not sure... Someone, who, who said that? Uh, Dark Shadow, you were saying assault the stronghold type thing. I actually do think that could be a cool idea to have like islands that would spawn with some sort of really, really entrenched enemy and you would have to use something like, uh, well, their Spidertrons can't walk over the deep ocean. So uh, they, they would have had to have come up with a new vehicle that you would use to assault said fortress. Personally, I I think it's kind of interesting that I'm complaining about the the asteroid shooting being the reason we need weapons when I've made the very point before that it's not fun if your base gets destroyed. I mean, look at how many people are complaining about Gleba enemies already. Um, and I've always said it would be more fun to have like a separate mini game type surface where your point is to defend against waves well the asteroids are waves of attackers right and so like to some level they actually did exactly what i've been saying for a long time i do think asteroids are just kind of boring as enemies like like that's the only complaint i have but to some level it's actually exactly what i've always wanted which is getting to use the military defenses without risking your entire base in the process like, it's simply like, oh, this is the place where I do military things, but if I fail, if the asteroids blow up my ship, I'm not gonna lose my whole base of production. And I really like that. So kudos in that sense. I've always thought that's that's how military stuff actually would feel better in a factory game. And that's kind of what's happened with asteroids and the asteroids getting tougher as you go further towards the end of the game. So. Enemies in the in the oil oceans that can attack trains. Ah, no thanks. What oil whales? <laughs> uh, we don't need that. Thank you very much. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. 
Oh, the rares blocked it up. I see what happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so hopefully that finishes soon here. And then we are going to go to Aquilo. I think those are the only two things left, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, I'm so excited. We're doing the final planet. Um, what am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I'm missing the, the way that you actually make power from nuclear reactors. That's what I'm missing. Um, I don't know how much we're going to need, but... I would think 20 for 200 megawatts is a good starting spot. Well, how many... Let's just go... I've got four uncommon nukes. Which makes triple times... It makes 12, 600. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to need all of that, or use all of that for power, because I'm going to need the heat from that, too. Um... Jetpack, yes, but no, because you can just rebuild a new platform. So it's like, that's never your main base to some level. It's like a secondary surface that you... It's like the, the, the platforms are almost like strike forces. It's like an army of Spider-Trons. Like, yes, it costs you something if it gets destroyed, but it doesn't cost you the base that ended up producing it in the first place. Um, anyway, I think 50 uncommons is plenty. And, yeah, why is the rocket capacity? It feels so weird. I guess steam turbines are just bigger in terms of the footprint. Maybe that's what it's about. It, that must be what it's about. I just, I don't understand why these stack so little when these stack so much. Uh, it must just be a size thing. So, a hundred of these is kind of a lot. I don't even know if I have a hundred. No, I only have 79, but they'll make more. Um, I am forgetting something important. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Like I said, the ship can easily come back. Um, it can easily come back. I do need one more thing, which is a cargo landing pad. Do I have those already ready to go? I do. Is this what you were thinking of? That feels like, that feels like the thing. Okay, so are these done yet? Uh, yes, I only need two more chem plants. And those are done. That's done. These are... I th eh? Yeah, those are done was not oh fun well we'll have we'll have some joy then when we land on the planet and find what we're missing <laughs> i mean currently i'm lacking myself how did i end up with 150 pumps well i did request them in two places so that would explain how i end up with hundred. Don't know how I ended up with 150. Oh well. Alright, so the pump jacks are done, cargo landing pads done, and we just need one more uncommon chem plant and it should send up that as the final rocket. And that should happen pretty fast. We have a 20% upgrade chance. So. so then I myself shall travel. Ah, yes, I must get rid of must get rid of my things. My ammo munition. And do I have something in my inventory? No. Oh, that trash slot's not trashed yet. There we go. Alright. Up to the Synthus we go. 
We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh my goodness. Bon voyage indeed. You can still do the bug. <laughs> this is so cool. For those of you who are slack-jawed right now from the future YouTube recording, this has probably already been patched out of the game. Or maybe they'll never patch it just because it's so fun. But if you hit enter right after you land, you can get out. Um, but then once you get in, you can't get back out again. <sighs> All right, so... You can even melee attack asteroids. <laughs> you, you don't do very much damage, but you can do that. All right, we're doing it. Let's go. Come on, Vominos. Everybody, let's go. Let's see what our top speed ends up being. 200, 210. Wow, going pretty fast. I might need those extra missile turrets going at 220. We shall see. If I need to slow down, we can, but I think we'll be okay. Because even like the missile turrets down here can shoot rock, uh, asteroids that are just about to hit the front of the ship. So the closer they get, the more things you know, can be shooting them, so I, I think we'll be okay. Really, I probably would be best off to have, like, three extra just at the front to really take care of stuff, but it's fine. Alright, we're going at 241. As a max speed, it seems. Oh, I guess it switches. So when you're halfway past the middle of Between Two Planets, you get pulled towards the planet at 10 kilometers a second. So there's always a delta of like, you go 20 faster once you're halfway there, if that makes sense. Um, and that's just so that you can't get completely stuck. Like if you had zero fuel, that way you'll eventually end up over a planet. Which is very much not, <laughs> back to what's real. In Kerbal Space Program, if you run out of fuel, you are indeed stuck in space. <laughs> it's very easy to do in real life. Alright, how's everything running? It looks like we actually are trashing quite a few types. <laughs> Sveplet, you were the one that got stuck? Nice. Congratulations. You made a difference. Okay, so we are indeed three-shotting the asteroids. I think I would need to do, like, what was it? Three or four more damage upgrades to two-shot them. But... And when do the biggest ones come? It's at... Oh, cool! There's even a bar that's moving across the... Across the... Screen here, so we can see the big... Big uh, oxides are really ramping up right now. And they're the worst at 27 kilometers. Hey, TNT, thank you so much for the bits. Oh, where did the, why didn't it make the sound? Maybe, maybe it's not loading properly, but I appreciate it. You're welcome for the parameterization tutorials. There's still so much I haven't done. Oh, it did make the sound, weird didn't play for me then. Alright, yeah, we are totally taking care of all the all the asteroids just fine. Nothing's getting close. Huh. I mean, they're getting kind of close. It's possible that a couple more rocket turrets wouldn't be a bad idea on the front here. Or even gun turret. Gun turrets could be the thing I need more of.
Because there were some that kind of almost hit the front, it seemed like. Mostly just because it took a second to acquire targets, not because I didn't have the firepower. But I could always do... You know, like, two more... Do something like this. Get even a little bit more firepower on the front here. Why not? Why not? It's free. I already had the stuff. But yeah, that really did seem almost trivial. But at the same time, I do think we have a pretty good design here. It's a very skinny ship, and we have a lot of firepower, you know, at the front. Like, if we had had only a flat front... I guess if we had made the whole front of the ship flat, but also a solid line of missile turrets, that would have been more than enough, too. Um, but this looks cooler, so we'll go with that. All right, we're doing it. Hold on, I gotta... Gotta get ready. Waskily yesterday reminded me... I need, I need to make sure... I stay warm... You know, when we go to the planet here. So... We gotta, we gotta stay warm. Otherwise we'll freeze. Off we go. Woo! Travel to planet Aquilo. All right, I love ice planets, can I just say? So I'm very excited about this. I've always I've always liked um, like Hoth in Star Wars. I've always thought that was a cool place. So, all right, what do we got? Lithium ice formations. We got crude oil. We got. Uh, ooh, there's like different. Is that just different shallownesses of water, I think? Okay, there's a crap ton of lithium brine right here. That we pump jack. I guess it is more of an ocean planet than an ice planet. But as far as the... The parts where you, the player character, in engage with it, it's on top of ice. So, I'll call it an ice planet. <laughs> Alright, this, uh, this coat is not going to be long on my body because I'm gonna get really hot really fast, but... Oh, we already finished a research! Lithium processing! So lithium plates are just made out of lithium, and lithium needs holmium plates! Ah, oh, man! Ah, oh, jeez. We're gonna need to ramp up our holmium production, eh? Also true, the ocean isn't water. It is, it is ammonia. All right, for now we're just mining some ice. Okay, let's uh, let's drop down our cargo. Oh god, where is it? The cargo pad here. And then we'll get the cargo bays. That won't be the first time he says, "Oh man, <laughs> no, no, it will not." No, it will not. All right. Well, it's any place cannot build on smooth ice. Ah, right. Right. Concrete. Right. For whatever reason, I didn't think that that would be a requirement for the cargo landing pad. Not that I remembered it. But I should have sent this back to Novice immediately. I kind of already meant to do that, but... Um, also... With... Hey, Waskly! Thanks so much for the sub! Uh, let's see. So we need... We need two things. Do I want Holmium to be shipped to Novice? Or do I just want to send the Senthus to Fulgora and grab a bunch? How much Holmium do I have? I have 5,000. That should be enough for a while. So I'll just send...
I'll send the the synthus. Let's see, what am I doing? I need concrete. Uh, rocket capacity is 100. Okay, let's just do uh, 500. I have to leave that checked, but I'm going to uncheck that. I already used that. And then we're going to wait for all requests satisfied. Then you're going to go to Fulgora. And you're going to request Holmium. Uh, how much space do I have? Ugh. I should have dropped more stuff down to the planet. Just in terms of free space. Um, I don't like the way this looks, but for now I'll call it a necessary evil. Just for this cargo trip of Holmium. That should be enough. And we'll do Holmium. 5,000. Okay. At this point, does it really matter? I guess it would save me a couple minutes, maybe, but... Okay, so someone's saying I might actually be able to build it already? Is that true? A couple spots, it should be placeable on frozen ground. Oh! It is. Interesting. So you can you can build stuff on snow patchy but not but not ice. I wonder how that actually works. Like which tiles you can and can't build on. Blue stuff bad, white stuff okay. Got it. Okay, well I guess we're just uh stranded here waiting. There's some, some eggs. Eggs are a-spoiling. Oh, the whole belt is gonna spoil, isn't it? No, it's bringing more. <laughs> Did I mention this? Some oh my gosh, look at all these. Uh, someone had an idea. I think it was in the YouTube comments. And I, uh, uh-oh. What? Okay, no, wait, that's fine. Why have my blue circuits stopped, though? That's actually really bad. Uh, I'm out of sulfuric acid. Why is that? Uh... Wait, what? Oh, I must... Oh! Right, 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 right. I disconnected it like a dummy. Uh, I forgot to reconnect it. When we built the more rocket silos. Whoops! Okay, well that was impacting production, but we're fine now. Okay, and here comes the concrete. Yeah, I totally could have grabbed concrete from Fulgora. Okay, I'm dying. I gotta take this off for a sec. We can, we can keep on the scarf. All right, so Holmium. Now, whoever said I, I, uh, concrete, I will agree, is something I forgot. I don't think um, I don't count Holmium as something I forgot because I was avoiding spoilers. So if I had pre-looked at the recipes for stuff on Aquilo, yes, I would have brought Holmium, but I didn't want to do that. Um, so that's why. I don't, I don't count that one as forgetting. Not knowing is not the same as forgetting. Anywho, uh, let's see. So what are we gonna do? We, I guess we first wanna fill in these little, these little empty patches in our base. Oh, and we're out. I guess we'll just keep doing manual labor while we wait. How are you not done yet? I guess it takes a minute. Checking the research is spoilers? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, it, not like, it, yeah. There are different definitions of spoilers. So yes and no.
But given that you technically don't research the lithium research until you get here and mine a rock, that is looking ahead. It's not like... Like, I don't think they told you in the... Uh, maybe they did. Did they? I guess we'll find out. I don't think they told you you needed to bring Holmium for Lithium. So, you know, like, it's not something you know until you get here as the as the engineer. Um, but at the same time, like, is it cheating? No, definitely not. To look at the tech tree. <laughs> I just didn't want to. I've enjoyed kind of discovering the tech as I'm on the planet. That's how I've done all the other planets so far. But yes, if if I had wanted to like pre-prepare, I could have I could have looked ahead. So this music epic. All right. So we're almost at Fogora. Seems like we haven't had any problems with killing everything. Um, do we have... We only have two rocket launchers? Hmm. Also, I just realized we never brought foundries to Aurora. Oh man. We never brought a lot of stuff, did we? Oh, crap, that wasn't an automatic request either. I've only... That's part of what slowed things down. I only had one rocket launching. All the new music has been great. I'm I'm waiting for a mod that um, is a full randomizer that says, I no longer care what surface you're looking at as far as music goes. We're just going to play through one planet at a time. I'm kind of cycle through. Maybe with some randomness in there, but like... Because, yeah, I, I think it's like... I know some people don't like certain planets of music and like other planets more, and would just kind of prefer to hear any of the music at all of the times. But yeah, we really need to do a, uh, a Fulgora once-over, you know? Like, we need to bring the better modules, we need to bring the better beacons, I could make all of it here on Fulgora, but then I'd have to do a lot of work making all of it. <laughs> it's already all on Nevis, so it seems easier to just bring it. In fact, the Synthus is right here already. I could share some of the, the, the wealth if I really wanted to. Like three, f oh, well, but I don't have calcite being brought here. So foundries are kind of pointless until I do that. No, not to make Holmium. I can just... How did I end up with three... Oh, my original request for foundries. That's how. Um, but yeah, what is Holmium? Ah! What did I... Why did I just hit L? Or what did I just hit? I don't know what I hit. I hit some sort of hotkey to try to get to here. Um... So you can just make them in foundries. Okay, nice. Yeah, that'll help me a lot. So their crafting speed compared to an assembler is like triple. That's insane. Because the other buildings are at a base crafting speed of 2.5, but these needed to be faster than smelters, which are already a crafting speed of 2. So they bumped it up to four for foundries, which makes the speed boost over assembling machines absolutely awesome. All right, so here we go. So it turns out Fulgora... Oh, I, I had these swapped in my brain around so you can reach... Oh, look at this. I never noticed this before. You can see all the little arrows making their progress. That's cool. Yes, and the productivity, Harvey, of course. That's that goes without saying, the productivity from the 
from the foundries is key. Um, so that means I can, what can I do? I can delete all of this. And then I can grab foundries uncommon. And I can build them in range of those speed beacons I already have. And then we do homium plate, homium plate, and then I will take, what's the best productivity modules we have here? I have uncommon prod twos. I have a few rares, but I'll use the uncommons. Ah! Um, so prod two uncommon. Fill those up. Do that. Do this. No, those need to be blue belts. We don't have green belts here. Uh, no, that's the wrong pipe. Whoops. Did I need? I might have needed to connect it to the pump. I, I should have looked at how that was connected. I already forgot. <laughs> but there we go. All right. Oh my god, that's a lot of homeo plates. Very fast amount of homeo. Okay. Productivity-wise, that's quite a bit more. Speed-wise, it's more than I could probably ever use, even if I had maximum. But, uh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Crap! I needed a wait condition. Uh, time passed. Infinity. Oh, that's not infinity. That's infinity. Or something like that. Close enough. <laughs> it was here and then it left. Come back! Okay, now I do want to take a look just because I'm curious at the ammo production. Yeah, we're producing as much as we're using on all fronts, so we're fine. All right. So now we've got the the concrete. Let's drop down the cargo bays. Uh, the concrete. And I forgot, wait a second. Oh, oh, I wasn't scrolled all the way up. I just got scared for a second. I was like, how do I only have seven inserters? No, we're good, we're good. All right, I'm, ah. I wonder what happens if you pick it up. Oh, I guess I just found out. Oh, uh, that's what happens. I would like to build it more central. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Time to pave the world. And that's all we brought. Okay, 500 maybe was not enough. We'll, we'll get more. For now, let's expand here. And just bring down all the stuff. The radar range. Yeah, all right. Heating. Pipes. Exchangers. All that. All that. I mean, pretty much everything. Maybe not literally everything. But... I kind of want most of it. I guess I don't know if we have enough space for most of it. Need a couple more. Or this one. Oh yeah, that's enough space. Okay. Um. Boom. 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 No. Oh, man. I wanted to keep some pumps. Oh well. Uh, 
all the combinators, starting solar, pump jacks, foundries, recyclers, implants, EMPs, heating towers, beacons, all the modules, iron, and the copper, steel, and solid fuel, all the things. Alright, I think everything else was kind of extras or not needed. Oh, radar. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to send this back to Novice. Um, and then... <sighs> we'll add a section... Really wish. What? Uh, can't actually undo this leading section. I guess I can add it back here. I wish you could drag from one section to another. That would be really nice. Because basically, I want to have more of the things that like I'm gonna want to continually supply. Hmm. I guess I could change this to Aquilo Upkeep. And then we still have the old one, though I did delete some of it. But, but yeah, like more combinators, more chests, more inserters, more belts. I'm actually fine with pretty much all of that. I will go down a bit on the module requests and the beacon requests. Just a little bit less of everything. And I don't need more of that. I do want more heat pipes. And I'll take a thousand concrete. I don't want 100, but maybe just 20 and 10. Okay. Holmium will be ignored. Oh, those are over here. Okay. You know, I might want to make this thing go faster. I might want to make it go faster. I've got two more rare thrusters. Why not? When in Rome... In room. <laughs> of course, I have no pipes, but uh, why not? Go to five thrusters. Because I think we can, you know, provide that fuel. We're, we seem to be doing fine on getting rid of all sorts of chunks, so. Oh, I'm not making them in space. I don't have all of the materials here, and, nor do I have any room on this platform. If I'm making a mall in space, it's going to be on a different platform, or I'm making this thing... Like I said, I'm adding a whole second platform onto it, because this thing ain't big enough. Alright, well, it should request pipes when we get to Nevis. I almost could make... If I had a little more space right here, I could make the pipes and put them back in, because it's right next to the plates, but it's not quite doable. Uh, why am I going to Novus? I'm here now. This is, this is where I live. This is my life now. I don't know what to do here. Let's start looking at the tech tree. So, I make lithium. And then we get a cryogenic plant, and then with ice, lithium, and fluoroketones, we get our cryogenic science pack. Okay, so then step one is the grab stuff. Step two, despite the fact that I know robots don't work as well, they still do work. 
Ugh, I need more concrete. Um, like a lot more concrete. So that can be heat. Uh, let's see, where are you at? Okay, it's arrived home. I probably don't want 300 fuel cells anymore. I think 150 is probably good for maintenance. And that's not necessary. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> it's, it's good that I have four rocket silos that can go constantly. Because there's a pretty big delay on these. Part of me wants to add another one. curious how many per minute you get from one silo. Feels like it's about two. Well, up to now, I haven't needed very much. Like, I'm not using Novus to provide large amounts of anything anywhere else. So I only ever need a, a one to four launches at a time. So the only, the only reason I need more is for this initial wave of stuff. Um, I can't really add any more in here without making a mess, so. Hey, Black Spiral, thanks so much for the sub. Yeah, Travis, I'm excited to see what, uh, what we end up doing here on Aquilo. So I guess the first thing I can do is throw some fuel. In here things heated up. Ooh, melted the snow. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then we'll get a few solar panels going, which I know have very small effect, but they will do something. Um, let me take bots. I mean, I can almost just grab all of this. Can I just grab all of this? Not quite. Wow, that's impressive. Um, but basically all of it. All right, so that's all in my inventory now. And then we'll get some accumulators placed to grab whatever we can from this tiny amount of solar. Which is currently dark. Yeah, these provide one kilowatt. <laughs> it's amazing. Even though they're rare panels, it's only one kilowatt apiece. That's 12 kilowatts. Oh, you know what I didn't do was uncommon substations. That would be kind of nice to have. I can set that up real quick, too. Uh, let's see. Motorize station I oh I see what's happening I uh, this must be what I keep doing I, I keep running into this problem and I keep meaning to make a report a bug report on the forums but when you click out of the parameterization menu it deletes your changes what I'm doing is I think my brain's going straight to create blueprint, and I just want to click twice here to make it, but you have to make sure you confirm that first. Um, yeah. Anyway. Right. Whoa, that's a lot of items. Um... That's fine. Okay. Wait, why is there... Oh, that's funny. I've been copying this random storage chest 
on all of these without realizing it was there. Where did that even come from? Oh, oh, I, I needed one of them, yeah, because that was to hold all the copper we get from recycling these heat exchangers. Um, right, and these modules don't exist. At least not anymore. I've used them all up. Legendary wood poles are as good as substations? No, that can't be right. Really? Really? No. No! Supply area 15 by 15? That is insane! Not quite as good. These are 18 by 18. But still, that is pretty insane. Big power pulls, wire reach. The wire reach only going up by two per level is actually kind of a... That feels underwhelming to me. But the supply area being like substation size on big electric poles is pretty cool. That's a big difference. Because these really, you know, even though 4x4 four four sounds like a lot, most of it's taken up, you know, it's really only one tile of radius is kind of a way to think about it. Um, so it's a lot less than it sounds like. But yeah, obviously the real the real the real winner if you have the the production for it is just legendary medium poles. Cause they've got a substation size area. And I mean that like it actually is the same size as as far as how far from the pole. Cause 17 by 17 when it's only one by one is the same size. And then the wire reach is 19, say you know, actually slightly further than these. Right, substations can only connect if their if their radii are touching, whereas what you know, medium poles can go a little bit further than that. So I think legendary medium poles is probably like the late game thing I would use most of the places, and then you'd have a few times where you might want a legendary substation. But most of the time, yeah, legendary medium poles is the way to go. Anyway, what are we doing? Uh, <laughs> completely forgotten. I guess we're waiting for this. That's mostly what we're doing. And I would like to add into the Aquilo upkeep uncommon substations, of which I already have 31. Okay. So let's start thinking about making stuff here. To make stuff here, stuff made here. Great YouTube channel, by the way. Um, we're going to need power and heat over here. So, oh boy, we really are going to need heat pipes everywhere. Um, and we're going to need a lot more concrete. A lot more concrete. Yes, indeed, sir. All the concrete. And then, how do we make the ice platform? So the ice platform... Oh, we're an hour and three minutes into this episode. Also, Dave, uh, I did see your name in game request, so we should get that done. Now that we have concrete. I was waiting for the concrete. But he doesn't want me to write Dave. No, no, no. That would be that would be boring. Instead, we are to write help. <laughs> like the menu. Need to cannibalize more. <laughs> help. Help me. All right, so I guess we can, yeah, take this for now. And then we need to start making ice platforms. So how do I do that? Um, and why is this not like automatically landfilling for me? I would have 
thought that force build would have. What am I missing? I would have thought that force build would have put the required tile underneath. And it kind of is and also kind of isn't. I'm very confused by this. Wait, there it just did place the concrete. I'm super confused by whatever rules are causing it to sometimes work. That's weird. Um, okay, but there we go. We've got heat coming over here. I didn't know if these would warm up enough. Now that's the other question that I still have is... Wow, wait, why is this cooling off? We really, I guess just we're sucking a lot of heat out uh, with these, but once these get hot, there's gonna be so much potential power stored in this base. This is insane. Um, I still don't have a supply of ice. What are, are these? What are these pump? I don't even know. Ammoniacal solution? What the heck can I do with that? Ammo. Ammoniacal solution. Used in. Have we researched this yet? Yeah, that came with... Okay, I forgot to look at these. This would have been helpful. So, we need a chem plant to make ice and ammonia. And then we can just make ice platforms from that. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's not bad. <laughs> Maniacal solution, am I right? Yes, yes you are. Okay, so... Kim plants. And then... Oh god. I just... The heat pipes that we're gonna need everywhere. Even the pipes. Women and children, too. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, goodness. This certainly is going to be a thing, isn't it? All right, let's do it this way. And then we've got that going. And then... How do we make the ice? No, the ice comes from this. This is the ice. Okay. So then, I guess long inserters are the truth on, uh... Here on Aquilo. So we'll use those because then I can stick a heat pipe in front of everything and use that. And so then we've got ice. Oh wait, this needs to be up. There's ammonia. And was it in the assembler that we make the Ice platform? I didn't look. Yes. And it's a 1 to 8 ratio, and this makes a 1 to 10 ratio, so that means we're going to end up with extra... Of which one? I didn't pay attention. Uh, always pay attention in class, kids. We need less ammonia, so we're going to have extra ammonia doing this. Okay, so we'll heat that up. And then do this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, and now I'm out of concrete again. Okay. Now, I do need power. I'm fully aware of this, don't worry. So we're gonna do some ice melting. Um, here. The, they won't keep up? Yeah, probably. But we're just getting something running here. 
So ice melting. And then that water will go to, if I can find them, my inventory is just a cluster at this point. Uh, these guys. Which then go to these guys. Whoa, I love the art. The snow covered stuff, it's so cool. Um, All right. I don't know how much power we've stored up. Not much, but maybe enough to get to get this running for a moment. I guess what I can do is I can pre-place ice in this and I can put in an efficiency. So then if I just power up this one building, it should get me water. There we go. And then that should get me heat. Now that feels wrong. A thing full of 500 degrees steam needs heat pipes next to it to warm it up. Come on, man. Are you for reals? That doesn't seem right. I'll probably have to change how I set this up then, but. I can do something like this. Are these, why are these not running? Oh, oh, I need to thaw out this little pipe here. Oh, Aqualo's cool. Oh, I'm digging this. Oh. And we're out of heat pipes. Wait, no, we're out of concrete. All right, how's the Synthus doing, by the way? Uh, are we almost there? It is almost there. Funny, I don't have any cargo bays. No, that's not true. That's not true. It's just not on the way yet. Got it. <laughs> Literally very cool. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, okay, so this is slow, but we are making... Wow, that's a really slow recipe. But we have beacons and modules for this sort of thing. Okay, there we go. Now, do these freeze? No, power can be transmitted through the cold. Okay. Good to keep track of the things that don't freeze. Um, as it's not much. <laughs> All right, warm that up. There we go. And we said, well, I actually don't know what we're gonna end up with too much of. I'm not sure if it's gonna be... Yeah, I'm not sure which way it's gonna be. Um, but that being said... I need to get this out somewhere so I can... Trash it. How do you trash ammonia? Not... Am I... There's no... There's no trashing of ammonia. But what can I do? Is there? No. I just have to use it. Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd have to turn it into fuel and burn it, but that would need crude oil. Which I think I have up here, right? Yeah, there's crude oil right there. Um... For now, I'm glad I brought these bad boys. Oh, but of course they need to be warm. You can't put can't put things in things that aren't warm. I know it would probably not be a good game mechanic, but part of me kind of wishes that it would be based on the fluid that goes into it, whether it runs or not. Like, like water, you wouldn't be able to store in here because that would be bad. 
but ammonia, there's literally an ocean of it on this planet that's not frozen, right? So like the ammonia would be fine in a in a cold, unheated tank. Um, but like I said, I, I don't think that would probably make the best gameplay mechanics. So I, I don't, I don't actually know if it should be that way, but that would be kind of cool. All right, so now I'm gonna plop some bots in the network. And then we're gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put a request in Novice or Aquilo personal requests. I have not done a good job of like using logistics groups at all um, for the most part. I have not taken advantage of them. But yeah, I'll request some ice platforms here. What is, What's going on here? I guess I should have done uncommon robo ports. You guys take forever to charge. Um, another charging port. Uh, they do run out of. Yeah, it's five times. Something's five times different. And it's robot energy usage is five times more. So bots take a lot more power on Aquilo, which means having faster charging would help more than it does on the other planets. Help. <laughs> um, please tell me these don't need... Okay, thank God. Um, I was like, if lamps also need heat, I'm just going to be pissed. Because this is for aesthetics. Alright. Get a little bit of light here. Okay. Things are happening. And I think we'll probably call this uh, the end of the first episode here. I, I will keep streaming, so if you're here live, don't go anywhere. But for those of you future YouTubians watching uh, the episode 49 or whatever this is, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.